I'm here with Jim Sarantakis, who is a co-op member at the Arts League of Lowell, around the banks of the Merrimack River, and he's taken me to his spot where he searches for raw materials for his walking sticks. And uh, he's standing on a ladder right now. We were both going to go, go down there, and, and uh, he was going to show me where he searches for walking sticks, but but I declined to to uh, to use the ladder with, uh, especially I'm, I'm carrying some equipment too, so I didn't want to do that. So Jim, could you explain uh, your process for, for choosing, for going down there and... and well, my process is to try to get down here anyway, through the ladder and things like that. I have my equipment in my bag. And what I'll do, I'll climb down this ladder. Simple. It's a simple ladder that like the fishermen and all the rest of them put here. And so it's a good place to uh, look for my walking sticks, which is not as hairy as some of the places where I've gone before. Less poison ivy and things like that. And it's easier to see my walking sticks. This is good. All right, this is where I go and get some of my walking sticks around here. My equipment. So, Jim, how, how long have you been making walking sticks? Oh, I've been making it over, over 10 years, I would say. I don't know exactly, but I've been making it definitely over 10 years. I, mean, I enjoy the hobby, and you know, it's just a piece of artwork for me. What, the, what got you started? What got me started? I love the outdoors. You know, I've always been out in the woods, like to check things out, and I love nature. When I started going out there, I seen some excellent walking sticks. I started off with some some floating ones, and afterwards, I went to uh, small saplings, which is more healthier. You know, because of the Merrimack River, we've had problems in the past, and I figured small saplings would be the easiest thing to work with. So, what do you uh, what do you charge? What's the price range? Uh, price range can be anywhere between forty to one hundred fifty dollars for an average walking stick that I have. But special orders, they do cost a little extra money because customers want special things on them. Like, for example, the one that you have has some LED lights. Yes, they do. Yeah. It takes a little while to the, the drilling and things like that, and it's all not uh, machine. You know, it's all hand drilled, which is good. And you know. It takes time to do this stuff. Yeah. Some people think you can do it like a machine. I'm not a machine. <laughs> I tell these people all the time, when they order a walking stick, they have to give me at least a couple of months to do these walking sticks. So your uh, sticks are on sale at the Arts League of Lowell, 307 Market Street in Lowell. That's right. And uh, you usually have, how many sticks do you usually have there on display? Oh, I'll usually have about a dozen of them on sale, on display. And you are a Lowell resident, yes? Yes, I am. Yeah. How long have you lived in Lowell? Oh, I was born and raised here. <laughs> so, uh, what's next? Uh, do, you have, uh, do you have any other pl any plans for some different designs, different kinds of sticks, or uh, any other interesting features that you're going to be doing in these sticks in the future? Uh, just whatever catches my eye, pretty much. I mean, it's no any specific... Uh, you know, theme or anything else like that. If I see something there that looks good as a walking stick, I'll grab it. Yeah. So I noticed the one that you have is Boston Red Sox, Boston Bruins, and the the uh, it also has the Patriots logo yeah, on it. Yeah, all the New England uh, teams, which is a very popular stick. You know, a <laughs> lot of the is. people like this. Yeah. So I make a few of these, and they sell quite well. Yeah. They do. Well, Jim, thank you very much for uh, spending some time with me and. Uh, Good luck in the future, and uh, hope you keep selling sticks. Oh, I hope so, too. But I want to make sure to let people know it is a hobby. It's not a business. People keep asking me to make a business out of it. And most things, if you don't enjoy it, you know, it's a business. But when you all you try to make a business out of it, it's less enjoyable. Yeah. So thanks a lot, Jim. Yeah, no problem. Well, thank you.